Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have been making a ton of videos recently about individual tools. I've talked about the insane pricing of GLM 4.7, the visual control of Tweak CN, the reasoning power of the King Mode system prompt, and the agentic capabilities of Goose. And a lot of you have been asking me, okay, but how do I put this all together? What is the ultimate end-to-end -end workflow that doesn't cost me $60 a month? Well, I sat down and actually combined all these tips into one single God-tier setup. I am calling this the all-in-one stack. It combines the cheapest intelligence, the best open source agent, and the highest quality design system into one workflow. And the best part? If you are a student, this whole setup costs you about $36 a year. Not a month. A year. So, I want to show you exactly how to build this super agent step by step. First, let's talk about the engine, GLM 4.7. I've mentioned this before, but things have changed even in the last week. The team at ZAI has rolled out some new plans that honestly make no sense in a good way. They have an annual plan that is around $36. That gives you access to the GLM 4.7 model, which in my benchmarks is beating Sonnet 4.5 in visuals and rivaling Opus in reasoning. You get about 120 prompts every five hours. For 99% of you, that is effectively unlimited. So step one is simple. Go to ZAI, grab that API key. This is going to be the brain of our operation. Now, step two, the body. We need an interface. I previously talked about Conductor, which is great for macOS, but today we are going to use Goose. Why Goose? Because it is an open source AI agent CLI that works everywhere, Windows, Mac, Linux. It doesn't just chat. It has access to your shell, it can create files, and crucially, it supports MCPs, Model Context Protocol. So, you download Goose. You go into the settings, and you configure it to use your GLM 4.7 API key. But we aren't just going to leave it stock. We need to upgrade it. This is where the all-in-one trick comes in. We are going to install two specific MCPs provided by ZAI the Vision MCP, and the Web Search MCP. These are included in your plan. This means your cheap $36 per year agent can now see screenshots and browse the documentation of new libraries without hallucinating. Now, let me show you the secret sauce. If you use GLM 4.7 out of the box, it's good. But it can be a bit chatty, and sometimes its design sense is, well, Generic. We are going to perform a brain transplant. In Goose, you can create what are called recipes, or simply add to your system instructions. I am going to combine two prompts I've shared in previous videos. The King Mode prompt and the front-end design skill. The King Mode prompt forces the model to ultra-think. It stops the model from being lazy. It forces it to analyze architecture and data relationships before it writes a single line of code. The front-end design skill is a markdown file that forbids AI slop. It bans standard rounded corners and default blue buttons. It forces an editorial or brutalist aesthetic. So, I paste both of these into my Goose instructions. Now, I have an agent that runs on cheap fuel, GLM, has hands, Goose, eyes, Vision MCP, and the brain of a senior architect, King Mode. But there is one final piece of the puzzle, the visuals. Even with the front-end skill, sometimes you want granular control. You don't want to guess CSS variables. This is where TweakCN comes in. Before I start coding, I go to tweakkin.com. I pick a theme, let's say Doom 64, because I want that high-contrast retro look and I drag the sliders until the charts and buttons look perfect. I click Copy Code. Now let me show you this full workflow in action. 
I have a blank folder open in VS Code. I open the Goose terminal. I paste the CSS variables from tweakcn into a globals.css file. That took 10 seconds. Now, I type this prompt into Goose. UltraThink. Build a movie tracker app using Next.js and Supabase. I have already defined the theme variables in globals. Use the Vision MCP to look at this screenshot of the linear homepage for layout inspiration. But keep the Doom 64 color scheme. Use the front-end design skill for the component structure. I hit enter. Here is where it gets interesting. First, because of king mode, Goose pauses. It says, ultra thinking. It breaks down the database schema. It decides to create a join table for user favorites to ensure performance. Then, it starts executing. Because Goose is an agent, I don't have to copy-paste code blocks. It creates the files. It runs npm install. It configures the Tailwind theme. And watch the design it produces. It's not the standard black and white dashboard. Because I injected the front-end design skill, it's using a masonry layout. It's using monospace typography for the data headers. And because I started with tweak CN variables, the colors are exactly what I wanted. That deep red and gray-blue retro vibe. It didn't have to guess the colors. It just inherited them. It even used the Vision MCP to copy the specific sidebar layout from the linear screenshot I referenced. This is the power of stacking these tools. If I had just asked a raw model to make a movie app, I would have gotten a generic list. By stacking tweak CN for the base, king mode for the logic, and front-end skills for the style, and running it all through Goose on the GLM engine, I basically have a senior developer in my terminal. And again, the cost of running this generation? A fraction of a penny. This workflow basically streamlines everything. You separate the visual decisions, tweak CN, from the architectural decisions, king mode, and let the agent handle the typing. Also, a quick pro tip. Since you are using Goose, you can actually save this specific prompt stack as a designer recipe. So next time, you don't have to paste the system prompts. You just type at designer, make me a blog, and it loads the king mode and front-end context automatically. If you are a student or just a developer on a budget, this is genuinely the best value stack I have found in 2026 so far. You are getting the capabilities of the $200 per month enterprise plans for the price of a couple of coffees a year. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!